It's recording. Oh, it is. Well, would you look at that? What are we going to do? Go to outer space. You want to go to outer space? Outer space. Yeah. We're going. Go outer space. I was not even on as well. Okay. I got camera bag, tripod. We're going to Bow Enterprises to put the truck and plow in the shop, pull the bulbs out, and put new LED bulbs in. <laughs> Keep it on. Keep it on? Okay. Need balls. Hello, Sosa. I don't know what you Hey. Want to say hi? I don't know say hi. Use the truck say hi. Oh, look at you. Alrighty. We're gonna go. Put these new lights in the plow. Your fellas coming? Alright, they're coming. Let's go. Let's get this show on the road. Okay, the project for today, these lights. They make an LED conversion kit for these snow dogs and it's like 400 bucks from what I'm told. But a guy in the snow dog forum said he did that to one of his snow dogs and it worked great, but he said on his new snow dog, he found these bulbs, that the stock bulbs come out and the other ones go in and they're LEDs and he said it works better than the full conversion kit he did on the other plow. So he sent me the link for it, and here they are. This is, they have these harnesses, these plugs. I don't even know if we'll use the whole plug, but this is it right here. TSCR LED bulbs, ALLA lighting, off-road only. So guess what? That doesn't matter. So it says 10,000 lumen, 6,000 xeon, X E N O N, however you say that, white. So, we're in the Bow Enterprises shop, and this might be another sneak peek because I don't think Spencer over here ever finished off his video no, I didn't yet. making this bed. But you guys get a little sneak peek, and it's almost finished, and that's all you get. So, now you got to wait for Spencer's video to watch the rest of that. But we're going to pull these apart. From what I'm seeing in the back, there's four little tiny nuts in there he said tiny nuts so i'm gonna take those out and i'm guessing the whole thing just comes out so we're gonna pull that apart and we're gonna see how the plug is in here and what we got to do okay so this really wasn't that hard except for me because i was staring at it and i was like what the hell and then spencer over here figured it out so you take the other bulb out and it has a spring and you take the spring, the other bulb is right there. Yeah, so you just, uh, there's a plug that goes on the end of this. You just take that off and if you look, these are literally the same, same plugs, plug into the harness. Yep, so that's all we did is uh, there's the harness right there that plugs into. This is the new LED bulb, plugs into there, has this box on it, has a little fan on the back of it. And then you put that spring around there and now hopefully there's enough room in here to stuff this harness back in there and we'll be all good. So we're going to put it back on and then we're going to turn the lights on and show you what the two of them look like compared. Okay. So the headlights are not on. <laughs> no. I think this is truck lights. Oh wow. Can already see a difference on your wall. All right, so here we go. Wow, even looking through the camera, which usually isn't as good, I can see a huge difference. Don't look at that thing. Holy crap! I think you got to point it down, but now I see a little. Well, we also grabbed on the thing when I pounded the studs out of the back to get the bulbs out, so I probably tweaked them. Yeah, they definitely got to be adjusted. Yeah, because I'll be blinding people. Yeah. Wow, that is crazy bright. That's a huge difference. So. Let's blind the people. There's the stock light. There's the LED light. That's a big difference. Oh, high beams. It's, yeah, when you turn those high beams on like that, both the lights on the passenger side look yellow. And the LED over here, the high bulb looks yellow, but the main bulb is like just pure white. 
That's gonna be nice. Can I lift this up? Well, there's the wall for my shadow. And that's both of them. That is flipping bright. Holy cow. I'm trying to look in the back of the camera and it's even bright looking at the back of the camera and it still hurts my eyes. Yeah, I have a feeling, uh, I have a feeling people aren't gonna like that. I might have screwed something up. I did. Why? What'd you do? My marker light over on this side isn't on. Plug it. In here. I can hear the fan running in the back of that one, so that fan's working. Fan's working on this one. I might have did something to that one right there because that marker lights out. But other than that, I'll pop that lens back off real quick and we'll see. But other than that, they are bright. Holy cow. Okay, so as usual, I didn't close this video out like I normally do, but you guys know the drill. That's what I do. Um, but anyway, so we are going to, that's going to close this out. Make sure you hit that thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you want to do. Leave a comment, share this video, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, wherever you want to share it. Share it anywhere you want. Um, but definitely share it and definitely leave me down in the comments if you guys did the upgrade kit on your plow the actual full conversion kit with the both new units and uh what do you think seeing this in my video what do you think um as far as the difference between how bright mine are and how bright yours are like i said the guy that uh on the snow dog forum he has two snow dog plows and he uh he did the full conversion to one and then he did this to the other one and he said man i should have just saved my money he said the one with the bulbs is way brighter and uh he says or at least just as good and it's it was 49 dollars on amazon prime for these bulbs so i'll put the link down in the description for that um that way you guys can just go ahead and order them too if you want uh spencer whose shop i was in um he says that his boss plows are the same plugs in the back so he's ordering them for his versus buying the whole conversion kit again which he's already done for some of his boss plows so um definitely a cheaper alternative super easy i think you know once we figured it out half hour both sides and that include taking the head lenses apart and putting them back together um we probably could have done it in 10 15 minutes to do both sides but uh but we had to figure it out like anything else so anyway Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up, thumbs down, leave a comment, let me know what you think about these lights and what do you think about as far as uh, if you've done the conversion on any of your plows, no matter what the brand is and what do you think of them. I did have to readjust some lights and name them down. Driving home from Spencer's house to mine, which is maybe a 10 minute drive if that, I had everybody flashing their lights at me. I felt like an idiot, but uh, so I got home and I bent them back down or adjusted the adjusted the uh, headlamps down and uh, I drove around last night and I probably passed 30 cars not one of them flashed at me but it's like clear as day there's no yellow haze no nothing it's just super clear white light and bright I love them I should have done it when I first bought the plow